Welcome to the Third Wave Business Systems EFT Remittance Report Design Tool Overview. My name is Dennis Tucker. I'm a technical manager at Third Wave, and I'll be providing you with a demonstration on how to customize your EFT Remittance Report design. Remittance reports can be either printed and delivered or generated in PDF and emailed to your customers and vendors to serve as receipts for EFT transactions processed and submitted to your bank. The remittance report design tool allows you to either create a brand new report format or to edit one of our existing formats as a template to design your own report. The remittance report design tool is launched from the EFT bank setup wizard in step four of the process. The remittance report design tool is launched by clicking on the link to arrow to the left of the format field on the TWBS EFT bank setup wizard step four screen. If you're going to be creating a new format, do not specify a format file in the field before clicking on the link to arrow. The user will be prompted to confirm that they want to create a new format file and then be prompted to select the report paper size. If you're going to be using an existing format as a template for your remittance report design, please use one of the following files. The EFT remittance stub vendor file, the EFT remittance stub internal file, or as I'll be using for this demonstration, the EFT remittance stub vendor with remarks file. Please note that if you are editing an existing format, it is recommended that you copy the file from the original library location to another directory and use this new copy for the editing. This will preserve the original report format in case it is needed in the future. As the screen loads, the existing report format will be loaded into the report design tool. The report design tool is a WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get editor that employs a simple drag and drop interface. Please note that Citrix should not be used to design the remittance report. Instead, the report design tool should be used on a workstation with a local version of SAP Business One installed. The resulting report format file would need to be copied to the stub library folder that is being shared by all workstations. To add a database field to the report, Click the Field button. This will open the Field Selection window. Field categories are listed on the drop-down at the bottom of the window. Select the category of data you want to choose your field from, and select the field that you want to add to the report. Click the OK button. New fields and objects will appear in the upper left corner of the active region of the report. Drag the field to the desired position on the report, and resize the field by clicking and dragging on the black boxes that appear around the edges of the field. To add a static text field to the report, click the text button. This will open the text window. Enter the text in the field provided that you want to add to the report and click the OK button. Your new static text field will appear on the report. To add a box to the report, click on the square button. If you wish to place the box around an existing field on the report, you can follow these easy steps. Select the field around which you want to place the box. While holding the control key, click the box on the report. Select the match both option from the sizes menu on the right click menu. This will change the height and width of the box to match the selected field. Select the both option from the center alignment menu on the right click menu. This will reposition the box on top of your selected field. To add a horizontal line to the report, click the Line button. 
The format of the line can be changed by selecting one of several available format options from the right click menu and the line can also be locked in place by selecting the locked option. To add a vertical line to the report, click the square button. A vertical line is actually just a very thin square. The square can be resized by clicking on the black boxes appearing around the edge and dragging the square into itself until it looks like a vertical line. To add a logo to the report, click the logo button. A standard Windows Open dialog box will appear. Navigate to the location of the BMP image file for your logo. Please note, if you check Preview, you can see the image before you add it to the report. If you would like to test out a sample logo, use the file holder.bmp provided with the installation. The file is located in the same folder as the report format files. The Report Design tool offers a variety of formatting options on the right-click menu including alignment of individual fields, font formatting, multiple field alignment, position alignment, and sizing. date field formatting options, and currency field formatting options, including suppression of the currency symbol, hiding when empty, which would suppress a zero value, and show total of all printed values in a field. For more information on field formatting options, please refer to the EFT user guide. Click the Save button to save any format changes. This completes our demonstration of how to utilize the Remittance Report Design Tool. For more information on Third Wave's electronic funds transferring application or any of the other applications that Third Wave offers, please visit our website at www.twbs.com. You can click the Contact Us link in the upper right corner of the page. Existing Third Wave partners and customers can obtain more information through the support portal by clicking the Customer Support link in the upper right corner of the page. Thank you for your time and attention.